I'm Jackson Pruitt. Uh, I'm an Auburn Class of 2015 alum, uh, College of Liberal Arts, Political Science. Um, currently work at the Greater Shelby County Chamber of Commerce as the Director of Business Development and Support. For me, I, I had been around Auburn people for a long time and I saw the type of um, person Auburn can produce, um, the skill sets that they have, and really who they are um, character-wise. and. That was something that I think I wanted. When I started thinking about majors and what type of uh, program I wanted to pursue um, at Auburn, political science really stood out as the natural fit for me. It offered a lot of the curriculum that I was interested in and lined straight up with the type of career I wanted to pursue. As I started looking for jobs, I did a brief internship in Elmore County outside of Montgomery and then uh, landed up in Shelby County where I am now. So there's really two sides to my position. Um, the first half is working with existing companies that are here in Shelby County, firms that have been here for a long time. The other side of my position is on the recruitment side, more traditional economic development. Um, that's where we are marketing this county as a place for new firms to move. I think a liberal arts degree, um, when done well, really can give you a skill set that's unique. You think about some of the skills that um, can be used across different career paths, critical thinking, communication, um, how to be a good writer, a series of courses that I took that was helpful. I was a history minor at Auburn, and those courses really gave me a lot of context for who the state of Alabama is, what the state's story is, and how that narrative fits into what I do day to day now. Employers will tell you that um, they can help you learn some skill sets unique to their company, but if, if you can come in with some of the employability, um, distinguishing skills like teamwork and critical thinking and the things that a liberal arts degree can offer you, um, you can be successful.